It's the statue of Penn and Teller's logo. You are Penn and Teller. I'm a couple of very wealthy magicians. I'm yep. happy with this news. So yeah, that see those dots up there next to my each one will get marked. That's my piety three. level. Yeah, it'll go up slowly over a fight. Yeah, but that was too quick of a fight. In the Ush early stages, you're not going to have very many long fights. Uskaya can only be angered by one thing. Abandonment. If I follow another god, he'll get pissed. And he'll start just throwing punishments at me now and then. Such as? Oh, I can now stomp with the beat! Let's see. I'm a wallflower. Let's see. His wrath turns the power of the dance against the offender. The prude will find their foes going berserk and will be forced to helplessly watch as foes execute their own solos. When the dance is getting too slow, he will cause noise to attract more revelers, so attract enemies to you. His wrath lasts for a relatively short duration, so he doesn't hold grudges that long. So yeah, what does Stomp do? So he also do? gets grumpy if you don't fight for a while. Then. No, he doesn't dis... He'll lose piety, but he won't ever... He won't ever punish you so long as you don't betray, abandon him. What does Stomp do? Or renounce religion also, probably. Yes, yes, that's abandoning him. <clears throat> it sends shockwaves through all adjacent creatures. It makes them very hungry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it costs... Oh, it also costs piety, which... Again, it won't make me penalized, but I'll lose my abilities. It, it damages creatures by a percentage of their health. That's interesting. That's either good or bad. Oh, crap. That Kelrit is a ghost. So it can try and kill you now? Ghosts are super scary. Because they're incorporeal? No, because they're just really strong for their depth. Okay, looks like we're gonna fight. Hmm. Can you throw potions at them? No, I can throw a net, but I don't think nets work on ghosts. Because they're incorporeal? Yeah, let's try Silver Tomahawk! You can quiver a net? Yes. Wait. What? Do, uh, I could also try one of these potions to hope it's something cool. And not poison. Hmm. Silver Tomahawk! I missed! Uh, ow! Oh, they're using their necromancy powers! So in other words, it was the first one. Oops, I'm actually doing nothing instead of attacking. Okay, we're gonna have to try something. A potion of brilliance that increases our intelligence. It's useful. A potion of flight, we can fly. Is that useful for here? No. A potion of ambrosia. We're now confused and rapidly regenerating. I guess that's... I mean, that could be worse. I have a feeling you're gonna die, bro. Oh my god, my attacks have no effect! Oh, no. Okay, and last? Ah, uh, potion of regeneration, which lowers our stats. Well, that didn't work out well. Let's see. You bleep rude. Alright, scroll up Amnesia so we can forget a spell if we want. Okay, we're running out of time. Ah! Scroll of Teleportation! Time to Well, crap! Bye! You're gonna go right back to it, too. The ghost is right over there. Let's go this way. Why don't you just go down a floor? It's better to continue on and not die. Excuse me. Time to run away. Whatever, kobold. I'm hungry. Wait. One kobold is not dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, my stats are loaded until I gain some experience. Does eating a kobold poison you in this? Uh, it did, but now you just can't. Oh. Okay, I can take you guys now. Stab the wizard first. Uh. Are you sure you can take it? I feel energized by my suffering! Low hit point warning. <sighs> Go back upstairs. He'll follow me if he's next to me. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna throw a throw a blanket over him. He's confused. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> What's happening? I don't understand. He has chain armor or something. Ring mail. Okay. Is that better? I can. Uh, yeah. Oh. Wait. oh. Dagger of Draining. I'm not really proficient in short blades, so... Is Ringmail better for you? 
Huh, I guess it could be. Am I even training armor? Not really. It's heavier armor. Oh no, it's an orc. Fuck it, I quit. <laughs> Has he died? <laughs> well, that's one way of quitting, I suppose. Hey, food. Oh yeah. I'm not hungry, drain. <laughs> Why aren't I eating my food? Oh, it's a ball python. Oh. Auto pickup turns off when enemies go invisible. Okay. I'm hunger. I'm gonna eat a fruit. And he that, still didn't pick up that ham. That banana was delicious. The, even the peel tasted good. You didn't even pick up the. It's not ham. It's like snake. I think. It looks like ham. You you look like ham. That's a club. Oh, it Meat does that if you leave it alone for very long. <laughs> is that perishable? Yes. Okay. Uh, you know, let's just go down. We'll come back for the ghost later. Discretion is the. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> I found an orc corpse times two. Could you skeller man them if they were? If I were a necromancer, necro? yeah. Hey, it's a scroll of enchant armor. Now? Wow. Oh, it's Eustachio! I misread what you said for a second, Dark, and I read at least, or I'm watching a space Australian. <laughs> All right. He can summon Dean. He can summon Satan's. Have a silver tomahawk. And a mist. So uh. if it is moving, it tries to kill you. Yes. Oh no, he summoned demons, but they're weak, so... They're weak satans? Yes. Oh my god, ow! Oh no, he's summoning rats! This is less concerning, actually. Quit! T um... He's spamming the floor, dude. Uh, I think I should... Run nope. away? <laughs> they can't follow you now. Oh no, it's a... Confused rat. It's summoned! Wait! How does someone creature get over here? He's over there! Dead. Well, that happened. Enchant weapon. Ah, uh, sure, I'll make a good. What's the ring? There's a green ring on the floor. It's mine. It's a small agate ring. Is it a cursed agate ring? No! You have a <laughs> ring of protection from cold and a ring of ice. It, this, the ring of ice makes you resistant to cold, vulnerable to fire, and better... At ice magic and worse at fire magic. In other words, I don't care. Oh god, it's Sigmund! He's the He's number one sweet. killer of young adventurers. Why? Well, hello! Just because oh. he's really strong for his depth. Okay, I, well, this is very, very but bad. Keep in mind you can run through enemies. Oh, wait, no, you can't. You didn't get to that level yet. Okay. He can. Oh. Now, scrolls really aren't very useful in combat, and this isn't useful to me at all. I'm out of nets. No, I'm not! <laughs> Damn it! Why'd that happen? Oh, you it, missed. It missed, and I hit this river rat instead. Okay. Wait for Sigmund to get. Oh, Sigmund's not gonna get close because he has a reach weapon. Now, stop! I can no longer stomp. You got <laughs> he hit one of his summoned bats because he missed me. <laughs> yes! You killed Sigmund, you get a scythe. <sighs> Scythes are the worst polearm weapon. Actually, they're the worst weapon. You also reach level 6. I feel the presence of a demonic guardian. Oh yeah, now when I the game feels I'm in a threatening situation, a weak demon will be summoned. That one to your right? Yes. Oh, he blinked. I thought he died. No, if he died, his summons would disappear. There you are! Poke. Oh no, I can't poke you because I have another friendly demon in the way. Your name is stupid. The bat dies! There. He's a human. So the scythe is the weakest polearm. It's... The, it's... It's not weak, but slow and inaccurate for its level of strength. 
It's not the weakest, it's just the worst. Oh, I was gonna say. Well, that makes sense, though, because it's not made you for have a combat. lot of weight at the far end of a... And also, it's not, it's like, it's not made for very battle. far away, which means that it has a very, um... You know, far, like, off-center of gravity. can't think of what the word is. Bork. Hey, I keep having rapiers, but I'm not proficient. But they're really cool weapons. They're arguably the best short blade that's one-handed. And they're all one-handed. Hey, look, bread. Uh, who needs it? Let's see. You. Okay. I if I scroll over move curse, so I'll keep that in mind. And that means I can test these out the dangerous way. Plus two war acts of electrocution. Is that really good for you? Electrocution doesn't only is inconsistent, but when it kicks in, it does a lot of damage. War axe is a decent axe. Yeah, it's a plus two. And training pole arms, cross trains, axes, which means you get a fraction of your pole arm experience in axes. So let's stop training pole arms, and now we'll be an axe user. Goodbye, trident. Uh, goodbye, dagger. I'm never gonna use you. What's this potions? Potion of mutation? Hmm. I really don't see any reason to... Oh, that's just bad. You feel a little pissed off. <laughs> yes! Okay, on the bright side, with the way potions work in this the experimental builds currently, they remove a bunch of mutations, then they give you some. So I can basically redraw these. Let's try again. I feel healthier, I feel a little more calm, the horn should go away, I'm going to heal more quickly, my teeth lengthen, my thoughts seem clearer. Okay, so now instead of two bad and one good, we have three good. We have sharp, very sharp teeth, we are resistant to confusion, and we heal faster. This is good. And you also still have friendly demons. Oh yeah, those up there are my demon spawn mutations. They cannot be removed by any force. Ever. And, well, unless are I die. there bad mutations from it as well? No. Well, there are double edged ones, like the horns preventing you from wearing helmets. I can't remember who this is. Undyne. That's right. Spear of Justice. Money. Oh, yeah, that's right, because it has ruins in it for some reason. Oh, short sword and some pointies. Because light motifs. Oh no, it's a leopard gecko skeleton! Right, Shin? Yeah. The skeletons are s not scare. Toby Fox, the grandest supporter of leitmotifs. Along with rareware. Too le well, no, rareware to a lesser extent, let's see. Rarewares are all for the same leitmotif, though. A scroll of immolation! It makes enemies burn with inner flames, so they will explode when you kill them, which will typically hurt you. I also have I am off tomorrow. Huh. That's an alarm trap. It sounds an alarm when you step on it. Or if a snake steps on it? Yes. <laughs> it's an adder. It's the... Ecumenical Temple. What's it do? It just alters all over the place. Oh. That being said, changing would mean invoking some divine wrath. Can you, like, pray at another altar to give you experience in the one you're supporting? Uh, no. That uh, being said, none of these are really worth leaving Uskea with. I'm not really impressed with Uskea, but we are Kelrich, the, the poker! What's that one called? This I can still g look at them. Orise can't convert to them. It's Fedas Madash, basically the god of plants. It's very pretty looking. It's they let you walk through plants and shoot through them without... as if they weren't there. You turn corpses into toadstools. What's that? Do you give you food? I think... Food? No, I think he just likes it when you do that. Oh. You can induce evolution? I don't know what that is. You can call on sunshine. You can make wings and plants grow. You can spawn explosive spores and control the weather. Oh, I let, evolution lets you promote plants and fungi into stronger things. And says he likes it when corpses rot away. Which I guess would mean summoning mushrooms on them. He does not... He is mad when plants die. Do you ever try to kill plants for any reason? If they're in my way. <laughs> when you were reading that, you just went... Like, you look like you're, like, really mad at what it said <laughs> for a second. <laughs> he also doesn't like it when you use necromancy on corpses. 
Yeah, but you don't use necromancy in your current form. Whatever, it'll make the other, it'll make Mr. Usuke all mad. It looks pretty. I guess. It is. It's this one's colorful. weird, it's broken. Although he didn't say anything, or if he did... Well, that's because I didn't convert. Oh. I uh, thought you did.